All right, so we'll continue yesterday's class. So yesterday we have seen one uh, simple example. Yeah, we'll process this data today. So yesterday, I think we have seen this example. Yeah, uh, so yesterday we have seen small example one. Uh, basically, like we have seen lateral flatten function and how to flatten the data which is inside array. So in today's example, if you see, uh, we have this employee details. Uh, starting with an array and inside this array we have uh, nested JSON object inside this nested JSON object We have other nested JSON object again same like yesterday's example here. We have an array and we have uh, nested JSON's city sleeve array and inside array Nested JSON and inside that nested JSON we have an array so kind of little complex so Let's see how we can flatten this data so yesterday we directly process the data from uh, stage. So today what we'll do is we'll create a table. Uh, then we'll load the file into stage, stage to the table, and we'll flat the table data from uh, table. Okay, so let me take the file. So this is the path, and the file name is emp underscore data dot json. Uh, yesterday we created a stage called my stage. So I'm uploading the data to same. Okay. So we created, we'll create one table called my JSON. And inside this table, we'll create one column called JSON underscore data. And the type of column, the data type of for that particular column is variant. Okay, so variant 16 MB is the limitation. So copy into my JSON table name from, I want to copy it from my stage. Okay, so file format, uh, file format. What is the format we created yesterday? Uh, my JSON, right? My JSON. So this is not table name, guys. So this is like file format name which we created yesterday. Okay, the data got loaded to table. Yesterday we processed it from stage. Now we'll see from table. Okay, now it is in table. So let's see uh, how we can process this data. So select star, it is giving me the entire data. But uh, what are the columns I'm interested in? I don't need this column because this is just like a tag name. So I'm interested in this column. My first column starts from line number four, right? This is not a column. Students, the un student name. So we are interested in particular individual elements. So kind, full name, age, phone number. Let's see how we can access this data. Can we access it directly? No. If you see the square box, that's like a road blocker. You cannot access it. Okay. So in that case, what we have to do is, we need to use this select. Okay. Yeah, let me select the column name. What is the column name? JSON data, right? JSON data from table. So what is the output I will get? I'll get the same output, right? But I want to get the data from here, array. Okay, so what I can do here is JSON data colon 
employee details. Yesterday, one dollar one colon details. Then what is the output I got? I got array as a output now, right? Now I get rid of this outer data. So till here, I I removed everything. I'm able to get the data from here, here to here. Okay. So total, if you see again, take a close look. If you take the closer look of the data, you will see like three employees: John Doe, first employee, Mike Jones, second employee, third employee, and okay three employees now that array is gone and um, i cannot select like age directly because if i remove the square brackets no, i can access this data so in order to remove the square brackets what is the example we have seen yesterday lateral flatter right whenever we see a square bracket simply like blindly we need to use this function as we plus that lateral flatten For this function, I need to provide an input. Means I need to provide this entire array as an input to that function. How can I do that? Simply select it. Okay. And uh, okay. Now you can see I'm getting three divided into three rows. Okay, three employees, three rows, which is good. Now I'll start accessing the data. So I don't need this. I don't need any arrays. So I'll remove this. What I need, I need kind column. So this particular function is giving me some output, right? In form of value. So what I have to do, so let me you hit some enters. So select, let me alias this one. I'll say like employee details, EMPD, mm, or like EMP employees. These are employee details, EMPD. Okay, so EMPD, whatever this table output, function output, EMPD dot value colon kind. See, first column I'm able to got. I am able to access EMPD dot value. Second one, it is full name. Age Gender Okay, so till here I got all the data then phone number phone number is also fine so here there is no square bracket whenever we got square bracket then we need to worry till here this is fine so if i select the phone number there is a one challenge with phone number because this is giving me json object as an output right again i need phone number area code and number separate columns in that case what we can do is dot you have to use the dot notation because phone number dot area code will give you the area code Okay, so let me copy this. Okay, phone number dot area code, area code I'm getting. So here I'll put some comment. If data is in curly braces, use dot notation. Okay, if data is in square bracket, which is nothing but array, then use uh, the semicolon along with lateral pattern function. Yeah, so EMP D dot value colon again, you take the same dot 
member okay so till here any questions till here guys is it understandable or very confusing no it is fine so we need to remember sir, these things yeah so see only one function so whenever you are coming across this array so you want to what is the goal here access this element in order to access this element, what is stopping us? Square bracket. How we can remove square bracket? We need to pass entire array as an input to that particular function. How we can pass that entire column name, colon, employee details, which is give us the entire array. So I pass this entire as input to that lateral flatten. Then it will simply remove, understand it like simply it will remove square bracket and it will return the value. It will return in value in the form of value variable. like. What is this? Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, value from this. So yeah, till here uh, it is fine. I am able to get all the data. Now see, same example I'll use. Then what is the next uh, one? Children's data. So EMP D dot value colon children, right? Let's run this. Okay, entire array. So again, the square bracket, I cannot access as simple as that. Again, what we need to use? Again, I came across an array, so I'll use lateral flat. So again, I have to use this lateral flat. So children, then name. OK, sorry, children, I have to. Uh, so if I use this, what is the output I got? Children. So. I have to take this entire as a uh, row and I have to pass an input to that function and I lay a CHLDRN. Okay, something like children. So now what I'll come here CHLDRN dot value. So then I'll access that element. So what is that age and gender is there? Age, gender, and name. So age, let's see if this is working. If it is working, then we'll do it for See, I'm able to get the age value, right? So till here, it is fine now. Comma. Then gender. Then name. Okay, everything we are getting so we can get rid of this children now. So but uh, if you see, uh, if you notice one thing, where is the third employee? John Doe, Mike Jones, but Anna details are missing because uh, we don't have maybe this employee doesn't have any children. Okay, see, we don't have any children details for the third employee. Whereas if you see the second employee, we have a children for the first two employees. Okay. So in order to, so if we are missing anything in this situation, what we have to use? We have to pass the second argument, outer is equal to true. Okay, so what this will, what exactly this is? So it will say like, this function is giving us the output. What output it is giving me? Children's output it is giving. So this output will be joined with the outer data. So till here, whatever the data exists, the data will, the output of this function will be joined with this output. So while 
for the third employee this function doesn't return any children's data right because we don't have a details for that employee then what happens it is not joining with the outer data and it is missing the entire row when i say outer is equal to true then i'm asking snowflake preserve that outer structure of the data preserve it if it is there do the join otherwise ignore so now let's see the third employee we are getting now so anyway till here we are able to access the data children name gender age mm. this is good now finally city is lived okay now city is lived city dot value colon place okay see how the number of rows are increasing slowly okay city is also i'm able to access now moving ahead years lived years lived if you see again there is one more array means again i have to use the lateral flatten function but see where it is where is this year lived see the data where is the cr slewed column is it inside city slewed or outside the city slewed right. inside right because the square bracket is opening here closing here all this data is inside the square bracket right yes so where is children it is inside employee details right because i'm just starting here ending you know at the end okay now what is the in uh, again i have to use the lateral flatter yeah city is lived exactly so city city dot value colon city is lived sorry year is lived So the entire data got converted. Okay, so this is how we can flatten the JSON data to normal. Now again, you know the exercise. How we can remove the double quotes? We need to define the data type. I'll show it for one. Yesterday also I showed. So string. Again, you will give the alias. So i do this see the double quotes are gone okay so this is how we have to flatten the data